Who's that? Oh wait, it's just you guys. Welcome back, everyone. I thought Vice was just questioning who just randomly entered this video. I guess it must have been you guys, though. Oh wait, no, it's just that ghost. My bad. I guess I forgot. No, I didn't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's it. That's the ghost that I saw earlier. What are you gonna do about it, Vice? Oh, it's running away. Maybe you should chase after it. Who'd be lurking around in a place like this? Don't let him get away, boy! But, but why, why, why? Why not let him get away? In fact, I'm just gonna run this way because I want him to get away! Or do I? I don't know. What am I talking about? Why would I let him get away? Because I felt like it, of course. Wait a second. Really? It leads to the same place? What's the point? That seems weird. Unless I'm supposed to catch him from behind, but no, that he would see me coming. Ah, I'm confused a little bit, but... Oh, I see. That would actually get him stuck in that direction. That That's interesting. That's an interesting way of thinking about that, actually. Okay, so let's see. What was this? The statue. It looks like the statues that were at the entrance to Rix's. Yeah, say a little bit. It looks like the same type of thing, anyway. Okay, so I don't see anything over there. So I guess the... I'm guessing the goal of this was just to trap him in a corner or something, maybe. Or not... Well, wait a second. How exactly? Whoa, 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 okay. How exactly do I go about doing this? Because he seems to know I'm coming, even if I'm coming from behind him. Though, do I have to walk? Can I? Can I be really slow and and stealthy when I sneak up on? No, he knows. He just knows, and I don't. Hmm. I don't know, then, everyone. I don't know. Oh, hello there. I see ya. And I'm coming for you now. Okay, so that's yeah, that's definitely gonna corner him then. I was like, how do I, how do I corner him? Yeah, that's a dead end though. So that make, that makes sense though. I didn't even think about that for some reason. Yeah, you you do your thing, man. Let's see you escape. I bet you're not gonna be able to. Nah, he escaped. He got away. We can't catch him now. It's not like this thing's gonna come back, right? Of course not. Or is it? Can I take this? No, I can't. Oh well. I thought I'd at least try to maybe take it, you know, you just never know. Like, okay, oh, I took it randomly. Now they'll never have their things back again. And they'll never miss it either, because they, they don't care. They left it behind for a reason, obviously. So, okay, go on that one, and that one will go down. That's that's kind of how it works, right? Right? We're not going to chase him up, are we? I guess we are. Okay, whatever, never mind then. I thought maybe that would be like one of those trap door situations. Like, okay, that one's going to go up, the other one's going to go down, of course. That's how it's gonna work! That's how it should have worked anyway, it'd be like an elevator, of course, but... No! We got the two elevators that are right next to each other. One should have been down, one should have been up, but it wasn't. Now we're above the clouds. Now, I don't think it'd be cold now, because we're, you know, clouds, you know? If you're above the clouds, that's when you know you're really high up in the air. You don't want to be really high up in the air, you can't breathe that altitude. It's, it's a little bit too much to deal with, in fact. Or is it? I don't know, is it? Or is it not? Is a save point a save point? No, probably not. Because it's only temporary. It's not even, it doesn't make any sense to use one either, because, I mean, you can literally just... I mean, it does make sense to use one, I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Either way, I mean, it's like, it's not necessary to use one, because if you just fight a boss and you die anyway, I mean, it's just, you're just gonna start over at the save point, not the save point. You just start over at the beginning of the fight! Who, who needs that stuff? I saw a weird light. Where's the sun? The sun? Wait, yeah, why do I see a weird light when I'm looking that way? Like... Huh? That's a little... That's, ah, that's just strange. I don't even know what's going on here, everyone. I hope you know that. I hope you know that I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and climb this random random monument here. What is this monument? and Why is it here? I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon enough with this no one being here. Nice to know that no one is here randomly. Also, this is the boss we're fighting, huh? Looks like it. Hey, look who's behind me! The boss is behind me! I didn't heal myself, did I? Or did I? Wait, did I? Hmm. That is the question, everyone. Did I heal myself? Or was I too stupid to remember to do that? No? Okay. We're not doing too bad, then. I guess I did just heal myself recently. So then, I guess we're gonna start out the fight as we always do. We're gonna spam a little bit of focus here. Of course, we're gonna use some abilities that are... Very, very helpful to us in our journey, our cause, you know, we don't want to lose after all, we don't lose. Health regeneration, Incrum, Quicka, 
You know, all of that stuff. All that stuff that makes us completely broken. The circle of panic. I don't like the circle of panic. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Don't make me panic. No! Oh, that's bad. You can just make me randomly confused like that. I mean, that's that's cool. No, that arm does not look very intimidating at all. I mean, you compare it to the drill arm. I mean, seriously, I'm just saying here. All right. I mean, I can't. Eh, hmm. Wait. Okay. So this is this is a green boss. So what is effective? It would be red. Red is effective. Also yellow apparently too. Hmm. You know, we haven't actually been leveling up our yellows. Let's try yellow here for this fight. I think I might be fair to use that anyway. Who knows? Alright, Lunar Blessing. I can barely see his color, but I do see it, so I guess there, there is that. We'll do that, and of course, Ake is confused. Thanks for being confused. Why should you be confused? I don't know. Nothing wrong with being confused, of course. I meant to skip this, dang it! I mean, of course, I mean, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I said during boss fights I wouldn't skip these, but this is an exception. I don't really care. No one really cares about this. At least I don't think so. I think you'd rather see the the cool attack animations on the enemies. You don't want to be seeing anything else. Like, like Drac was like, what are you doing, Aika? You gotta stop doing that. Don't you realize, oh, the ring is asleep. Come on now. I, ah. I was getting debuffed everywhere here. That's not, that's not cool, man. You can't just be constantly doing that 24-7. What am I supposed to do about that? Do I... Do we... Hmm? Heal? Heal? Okay, good, okay. They still heal even when they're debuffed like that. That's good to know. Good to know. I wasn't really sure about that, actually. But at least we confirmed that, I suppose. Alright, so... Incrim... On myself. Incrim... Again... On myself. And... Why not? Let's just do some more Incrim for no reason. This Drachma just has to be confused now, doesn't he? Of course he does. I don't know. We're gonna be fine, though. I mean, I don't know. of course, I said that last time we were fighting Ant Antonio too. I'm like, oh, we're we're gonna be fine. This is gonna be easy. Now that I know the winning strategy, and I still ended up losing Fina at the end of that fight. That was ah, that was bad. I should have been a little bit. I don't know. I should have been more careful. I should have realized, oh, that attack's probably gonna one shot me. I mean, I don't know, 850 health. It does about 850 damage. And I do that, and oops. I think I've had defended myself now. Would have won. Would have survived, of course. But you know, I, it, it's all a moot point now. It doesn't matter. We're past that point. I just want to—I want to avoid making that mistake a second time, though. So I got to pay attention. If he does any super powerful moves, just remember: if anyone's low on health, just start defending myself if I can. Hopefully, I will be able to. I would like to be able to do that randomly. All right, Aka, it's your turn to do not that. But it's your turn to do another Incrum on Mr. Drachma here. Actually, wait a second now. Hold on. Reverse order real quick here. Actually, it doesn't really matter who uses what, but either way. We'll do that on Drachma, and we'll do a Quicka now. There we go. Now I think we are ready to begin now. Or are we? Now we are ready to begin. You know what's weird? When I go bowling sometimes, because a couple days ago I went bowling, and... The weird thing is, like, I, I say before, I have such a weird dramatic bowling style, but apparently it's so dramatic that it actually does weird things to my fingers, because it looks like from what I, well, I mean, first of all, I've been, like, really, it's two days after I've gone bowling. I'm still actually kind of sore from bowling like, two days ago, but here's the thing, though. It's like, not only am I sore, my right thumb is literally black and red right now it's like that's 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 the kind of stuff my fingers go through when i go bowling sometimes it's really weird i don't know <laughs> it's probably not a good thing honestly this is not the first time it's happened either it'll probably take about two or three weeks for that to go away which kind of sucks but oh well it is what it is either way though i don't know why why am i sharing this i don't know because i felt like it have you ever had any weird experiences like that going bowling, though? I mean, assuming you even go bowling at all, I'm just saying, though. I mean, maybe you don't go bowling, but still, though, I'm curious. I'm curious if you do that or not. If you do go bowling, do you have any weird experiences like I have? Like, do your fingers turn odd colors when you bowl for too long? I don't know. I don't know. There's such a weird thing, though. I mean, like, I don't know. It's, like, it's one thing for me to be sore after bowling for two hours, but then my right thumb just turns like a completely different color it just doesn't make any sense actually not even my it's not even my whole thumb it's just like a random portion of my thumb like there's random internal bleeding going on or something i don't even know 
Also, I just had anti Ingram happen, apparently. Also, miss uh, lost out in Quicker, too, so... Great? I don't like that. I don't like that I lost Quicker. I don't like that I lost all that other stuff. Okay, then. So how about how about this, then? We'll do... This isn't even worth it. I don't even know. We'll, let's do this again. We'll do some more stuff, because why the heck not? We, we like buffing ourselves up all the time here. I think, it's, I think it's fun to do that sometimes, right? Maybe? Sure. Well, yeah, let's, let's, let's do some buffs. More buffs, dang it! I need more buffs! I need to be buff and strong and ready to go for for tomorrow, because, I don't know, not really, there's nothing really going on tomorrow. I'm just saying, tomorrow when we fight another boss, because we're going to fight more bosses, of course. That's what I'm talking about. Didn't you know that? Didn't you know that the moons gave me strength? I knew that, but you probably didn't. Maybe Vice didn't even know that. Maybe even Aka didn't know. What are you talking about? Are you serious? That just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Oh dang it, he's the worst one to get confused right now. Yeah, I'm just thinking, he's gonna, if he gets confused, and then what do I do? I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble, of course. Is she going to... Ooh. Alright! So that confirms, down arrow overrides everything. Don't try to rebuff yourself if you have a down arrow. That's just not a, not a good idea right there, don't do that. All right, I uh, uh, noted then, noted. Don't waste your SP on stuff like that, because it's not necessary. All right, so what are we doing here? Hmm. Skull shield. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I, I, don't, actually, I don't know whether I'm going to do that or not. I'm, I'm contemplating it, but I don't think I will do that. Health? Looking good. All right, on that, on that note then, I think we'll go for a few fancy moves, because why the heck not? Actually, wait a second now. What if I do... No, that, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would I do that? That's what I'm going to do, actually. I think I'm going to try focus, focus. I'm going to have Drachma and Vice carry the load here right now. I mean, Ika and Fina really aren't as strong, and not to mention they don't have the individual attack moves. I mean, if, if Fina does, technically, but it's not really that great. Of course, Ika could always use magic, too, but... Ah! You don't need to do that. It sounded really weird. I was like, ah! <laughs> We don't need to do that! I'm just going to the, the loco voice randomly! Nah, not really. Not really, I don't know. Either way though, like I said, they're not really strong. My, you know, let's have them build up some little some SP so that way we can, I don't know, do some more attacks. I think doing some more attacks would really help us out, in fact, you know? I don't know, maybe. Maybe some little bit. I got to skip that. Wait, I said I wasn't going to skip that! I'm an idiot. Oh, whatever. It didn't matter. You saw the bit. You know, tackle is actually really not that impressive of a move. At least I don't think it is anyway. Maybe it is a really impressive move. I prefer I always prefer Cut Last Fury. I'm not gonna not gonna change my mind anytime soon. So this boss really hasn't threatened us yet. Kinda surprised about that actually, but alrighty then. We'll see if that changes anytime soon. Probably not. Who knows? Alright, so how about we'll dedicate one turn to attack and we'll focus and then uh, Actually no, no everyone's gonna attack. There we go! Everybody's gonna do it now! Join the fun! Joining the fun is great, isn't it? At least I think so. This monster doesn't know what it's talking about. It has no strength whatsoever. That counter No. Okay, good. Oh, the way that counterattack was gonna end up confusing Fina randomly. Like, no, don't confuse me. Stop it. Don't! Don't do the ring of sleep! I just... I, I don't want to fall asleep here. Come on! Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever. Don't, don't mind me. I just won't be able to do a cut last year in the next turn. I'd like to do one, but this is what it is. Yeah, I'm dedicating an entire turn to attacking. And what do I get? I get nothing out of it. Because it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do then. Since Vice is asleep randomly, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try using Focus with Fina, or freaking Aka, Dur, I'm getting people's names reversed again. How dare I do that? This is really actually, hmm, I don't know actually now, this is, I don't have as many moves as I would like. I, I, like I said, I've been grinding nothing but silver this whole time, trying to get the resurrection moves for everyone. I mean, of course, she already has it, but it's not important. Anyway, whatever, let's just do this. I want to see what hers does, since she has the most magic offense ability, I guess. Why not? Let's, let's see that stuff. Let's see it in action. I want to see stuff in action, dang it. Actually, not that purple isn't even going to be very good now that I think about it. That wasn't very smart of me. Oopsie. Well, whatever. Feather Slash? 
Hey now! Hey now! Hey now! Slow down a second here. That wasn't cool there. I'm trying to freaking overpower me randomly. Like, okay, the desperation moves have begun here. That's what I get for saying that. I'm like, oh, okay, we're not, we're not really getting that close. And we're really getting close to death here, and suddenly, whoops, oh, we're getting really close to death all of a sudden. Better watch out. I don't know. It, it, it gets really close when you don't want it to. And then you realize, oh, he's dead. Congratulations! I'm going to explode! Why would the bird explode randomly? I don't know. Weird thing, you gotta know. You gotta say that, really. When the bird explodes, you know something bad just happened. So, what is gonna happen here, then? I mean, where are we gonna get the green crystal? And then, after that, what about... I mean, are we gonna fight another Gygus? Are we gonna fight the green Gygus after this? I mean, is Valua somehow gonna come into this picture and end up taking the crystal from us randomly? I don't know how that's gonna work. How did I... Wait, how did I even get... Huh? How did I even get silver? I shouldn't have gotten silver. I, I switched it off, didn't I? I thought I switched it off. Okay, whatever. We're going back up the stairs. We were already up here, but, you know... Gotta see ourselves travel a second time. Well, it looks like the crystal's probably sealed in here. Ooh. Hey, everyone! Look over here! The person on this wall looks like Fina! I mean, I, 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 I guess. Maybe a little bit. I can vaguely see the resemblance. You're right. I wonder if this is that Quichia the villagers were talking about. We who have, who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon. Fina? We who have come from the Temple of the Silver Moon have sealed within the forest after the real rains of destruction washed away the lands, the unsleeping giant, Grendel. And upon his sealing, the green crystal was kept within these walls. This is written in the holy language of the Silver Temple. The Silvites must have inscribed these words when they were here. These are the ruins of Ixataka, right? Why would Silvites come here? The rains of destruction nearly destroyed the green civilization. But even after the rains fell, Grendel still terrorized the lands for many generations to follow. The Silvites came here to contain him. Is that how that worked now? I see. But they came too late. The green civilization was destroyed and the people were reduced to a few primitive tribes of scavengers. The people from that village probably thought the Silvites were go gods because they were able to contain Grendel. It all makes sense now! That's why they thought Fina was the Quijia person! But it says the green crystal is kept within these walls, right? But I don't see the crystal anywhere. I wonder where it is. You're right. It should be here. Probably because someone took it. Who's there? Like that guy right there. He took it. What the heck? Oh. I thought that was going to home in on him. I'm like, jeez, Dracom. Why you got a weapon like that? Don't let him get away. He might have the crystal. Alright, Vice. Way to show off, man. <laughs> gravity, man. I love gravity. It just works in your favor every time you can use it. Gravity's a great thing, everyone. I hope you know that. Alright. Does he have the crystal? It's time to interrogate him. So this is the ghost. Who are you? And why are you following us? Please, don't kill me. I am a high priest of Ixataka. A high priest? So you followed us all the way from Horteca? No, I didn't follow you. I, I've been here for a long time. It is my duty to guard these ruins. If anyone tries to loot what's in these ruins or steal the sacred green stone, I contact King Ixataka. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that the king knew where the lost city was all this time? Yes, we figured out Isapa's riddle, and we found Rixus. And here, we found the sacred green stone. The king and Isapa were very happy, because we could use the stone to stop the Valuans. 
Stop the Valuins! You aren't going to... Dot, 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 dot. Tell us, or do you want me to crack your skull? Alright, alright, I'll tell you. The king and Isapa said that the sacred greenstone had the power to awaken the giant. If the giant were to come, he would chase the Valuins back to the eastern skies and we would be safe. <gasps> what? I mean, it's so easy to control though. I mean, the Valuins obviously confirmed that with the red guy. He was like, oh, we're going to control you just fine. We're going to control you very easily, in fact. What, they already have the stone? I thought he had the stone, and then he was taking it back to them. It is Sapa. Now that you are free, and the Valuans are busy looking for Vice and his friends, we can summon the mighty giant. Awaken, giant of the forest. I, who hold the sacred green stone, command you to destroy our enemies. What a bad decision. So this is how this is going to go down, huh? Here I thought the Valoons were going to somehow swoop in and try to control them again, but nope, not this time. Looks like... Go figure. These are the guys who are going to be controlling them this time. Very bad move, I gotta say. You probably should get out of there before you get crushed to death, you know? Boys, please forgive us. There is no other way for us to save the forest and people of Ixataka. You know, we, maybe we could do that, if you ever think about that. I mean, we've already done a lot of work here. You know, if you just told us to go save everyone, we could have done that too. You don't have to use this giant to do that. Very bad move. Really, really, really bad move. Also, earthquakes. Gotta love those! What's that rumbling sound? Oh no. Not again! He knows! Well, that thing's loud. Someone is summoning Gr Grindel! So why was the summoning thing for him so far away from the temple this time? It was right next to the temple last time. Valuin flagship, First Admiral Alfonso, the Cygnus. Cy Look! Over there! Long time no see, Alfonso. At least he's alive, I guess. So, King Ixataka was hiding the crystal from us all after all. Heh! <sighs> this is going to be easy. All I have to do is take the crystal from him. And the Empress will be pleased. Awaiting orders, Admiral. Oh, and I heard... Th oh, wait. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, and I heard that you were injured in the mines. Are you alright, sir? I don't ever want to hear you speak of those mines again. Understand? All ships, prepare for battle. Follow my flagship, the Cygnus. Head towards the light and find King Ixataka. Alright, well, <laughs> this is not gonna end well for them. I'm just gonna say that right now. And for Pete's sake, they're flying right towards it! They're gonna just get right caught in the crossfire of this thing. Assuming it's gonna launch lasers like the last one did, which, I mean, I think it's probably a fair assumption. I don't know. When you're as powerful as a guy, I guess, you're probably gonna launch lasers. Oh, I thought he was gonna be a really tiny thing. I was like, what the heck is going on? This thing's small. Now it's getting bigger. I think. Looks pretty big. Yep, it's standing up on two legs. This thing's ready to strike. And really, do they they really actually expect to take this thing on? It's like, if the harpoon can't, can't take it, then what hope do they have? They have none. Alfonso, get out of there, man! I don't want to see you die. I want you. I want to see you still, still keep on keeping on. You know, because you are my favorite admiral after all. Someone, someone actually compared him to the dis the rose of this game. Pretty much, he, he seems like he'd be kind of a, he'd be like a character that someone like Liam O'Brien would voice. That's the guy who voiced dis the rose in Tales of the Abyss. Eh, I don't pers I personally, I don't really know if that that's. I would agree with that, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't I can't make a decision for myself like that. Blast! Retreat! We can't we cannot get past the Gygus. But but sir, the battle hasn't even started yet. Why are you questioning my orders? I refuse to die in these filthy lands. All ships, 
Return to Valu at once! Well, I mean, at least he knows when to retreat. I guess that's good on him there. We don't want to see Alfonso dying this early on here. We gotta make sure we're the ones that finish him off, you know. He is wearing whitish silver clothing, so maybe he's gonna be the pe person we fight in the... the Silvite lands. I don't even know. Why would they awaken him? Don't they understand that the entire Valon Armada will retaliate against them? Everyone, back to the little Jack. We have to stop that thing. What is the entire Valon Armada gonna do against that thing? I mean, seriously, if the freaking little Jack can't do anything with the harpoon cannon, what hope do they have? They have none, of course. Not to mention, uh, I mean, seriously, I don't even know. It already is wiped out an entire battalion in a very short amount of time, so I don't think the Valon Armada really stands a chance against that thing. The Ixitaka could literally just become the masters of the universe now. At least I think so. Look at that thing. Why is it still? Why is there still an earthquake going on anyway? This thing's not even moving. How confusing. Who would have guessed? All right, let's get out of here then. It's just—it's gonna take a little while probably, but you know, we'll, we'll get out of here eventually. Will we find the exit or will we not? I don't know. Is the earthquake gonna still be going on when we're leaving this place? It's gonna be a long. Actually, no, it's not gonna be that long to leave actually. Well, especially if it ends up teleporting us out of here anyway. But I was saying though, I mean, we could—we we had the two teleporter teleporters, we had the two little elevator things too. So you know, that would have helped in the end ultimately. Or would it have? I don't know. So who's the- ah, I see. Sacred giants destroy our enemies, chase them from our lands forever! And we await. Wait, no, that's the- what? Okay, I'm confused now. I really am confused. <laughs> well, it looks like Grendel's awake! Admiral DeLoco, the experimental Moonstone Cannon is ready! Looks like it's time for me to test out my newest weapon! Target King Exitaka's ship! What? Sir, you're not going to fire at the Gygus? The Gygus only follows the commands of the person holding the crystal! So if we destroy King Exitaka's ship, the Gygus will be defenseless! This is what happens when you cross me! Fire the Moonstone Cannon! So could this be more powerful than the Harpoon Cannon even? Is this a possibility? Oh my gosh. How could you? How could you? Arrgh! He looks so happy! He's like, oh my gosh, we got hit by a laser! I can't believe that! That was amazing! That was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life! Wake up! Wake up! This is not good. He passed out. We must retreat. King Ixitaka was controlling the Gygus. Until he wakes up, it's going to destroy everything in its path. Really? Is it that easy to lose control of it? So basically never fall asleep is what they're trying to say. <laughs> oh, that is incredibly stupid, actually. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Using these things is a very bad idea. If all it takes to lose control of them is just to fall asleep, then yeah, no thank you. I'd rather not use these things. These things might be very powerful, but they will just, they just, they're just not controllable, you know? You fall asleep, boom, they're done. You can't do it anymore. Alright, destroy your things. What is that island right next to us? Anyway, is that their home? That shouldn't be their home, because it's, it's supposed to be right next to some rocks. At least that's what it normally is, anyway. Stop twitching, Gygus, man! Just do your thing! Destroy the world! Do what you gotta do! You know? Oh, jeez. That's gonna be, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna be very dangerous, in fact. Wait a second, where is that? Is that the island that had the, the summoning chamber? Hmm. I don't know. Why would he be floating on a random island? It looks like he's just losing his mind right now. He's like, oh, I can't believe it. Oh, my master. <laughs> so close. It looks like there is still some fine tuning to be done. I'm sure Vice has been seeing the Gygus, and he's probably on his way right now to try and save everyone. Be ready for him! Sir, a ship has been spotted off port side. He's here! He's here! I've been waiting for this! Well, Vice, it's time to die! Again! 
Wait till you feel the power of my Moonstone Cannon! You should feel honored that you are helping me test down my greatest creation ever! If you say so, man. Really not that great, though. I mean, you gotta admit. If you just realize that it's not that strong. Crandell is in range! But there's a ship in front of it! It's the Loco! It looks like we'll have to get past the Loco first. Look out for that cannon. Aye aye, Captain. Bring it on, DeLoco. We're gonna take him on a second time, are we? Why do we gotta take him on a second time? How do you repair a ship so fast? Why is he so quick? Man, I wish I was that quick at repairing my ship. I mean, I am, technically. I've been waiting for you, Vice. Now you will learn the true power of the ever-changing chameleon. Really, we're fast in repairing that. It looks like he's serious this time, boy. He's trying to get behind us. Vice, just make sure to watch out for that big cannon that he fired at King Ixataka. One hit of that and we're dead. I'll keep that in mind then. I will keep that in mind. Alrighty then, so what can we do then? I don't know. Hmm. Well, uh, anyway, well, let's try some focuses first then, shall we? Let's try some defense, let's try some defense, and let's try some focusing. I don't want to fire right now. I think it's too early for that. Maybe? I don't know. Well, you know what? Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. Let's see. Now go to the G type cannon with the same basic design but greater firepower. Interesting. Hmm. You don't say. Alright, how about. What's a shot card? We told me to equip more after launch, it charges its, tar uh, its target from above. Hmm. What reason would I want to use. I don't even know why I want to use things anymore. Ah, uh, you know what? No, no, no. No, no. Sorry, everyone. This is what we're gonna do. We're going to use. I guess Incrim, I suppose. Yeah. We'll do an Incrim right about now. That's, that sounds like a plan to me, anyway. Incrim all day long. Just do your thing, you know. I, I still don't know about quick. I haven't been told if that's actually useful in ship combat or not, but I'm still going to assume it's not because I haven't heard anything back, so I don't know. Is that a bad assumption or is it a good assumption? Who knows? We might never know, in fact. Or will we? I don't know. Either way. Awaiting orders. Oh my gosh, I missed. <laughs> I like how you can actually see it missing. That's cool. That was actually kind of cool. I'll admit that. Alright, what are you going to do next, Chameleon? Are you going to miss again? Of course you will, because I'm taking evasive action. You can't hit me when I'm taking evasive action. That's just not how it works now. No siree. So how the... Hmm. Is he going to be as tough as last time? I mean, I figure he's got that... But, hmm. But that flamethrower did a lot of damage, too, so... I was thinking, though. You know, how much would that... How much would that moon cannon do? Would the moonstone cannon be even more powerful than the flamethrower, or be about the same power as the flamethrower? Who knows? Guess we'll never know. Though I do have a higher dodge rate too, that's another thing. I gotta, I gotta factor in that, you know. Do I have a dodge rate or do I not have a dodge rate? I hope I have a big dodge rate. I should've used Incrim first, you know. You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about that now. Why did I not do that? Because I'm not smart, I don't think of things. Dang it! Why? Did I not think of that? It should've been so easy to think about that. Prepare to fire the Moonstone Cannon! Halt all systems and redirect all power! <laughs> You can't knock me off balance if my ship isn't moving, Vice! <laughs> now feel the power of my Moonstone Cannon! The enemy vessel is stopped! What's going on? It looks like he's got something up his sleeve, but now is our chance. We need to hit him as hard as we can while he's stopped. We'll take a bit of a beating, but we can take this chance and hit him as hard as we can. But we can play it safe and back away. We won't be able to do as much damage, but neither will he. Play it safe... Uh, I'd rather play it safe, actually, but that's just me, personally. We can't risk taking that much damage right now. We need to put some distance in between us. Perhaps that's the safest choice for now. Very well. Take evasive action. I think I'd rather do that anyway, because, you know, that way I can do a little bit more focusing, of course. And, you know, nothing wrong with doing a little bit of that after all. <laughs> I'm ready. Just, you know, get some, get some good old... SG going here. We'll prepare ourselves for a real turn of action here. I like a real turn of action. We get one of those going. Oh boy, the Loco is not gonna know what's gonna hit him right there. He's gonna hit by a torpedo. He's gonna hit by a cannon. He's gonna be hit by another cannon. More cannons. A harpoon cannon eventually, maybe even. Who knows? We'll hit him with everything. We'll hit him with everything. But the entire kitchen sink, because the kitchen sink won't really do any damage to that ship, because that ship's too big. What, what would a kitchen sink do to that? Seriously. I mean, we're just t we're just talking realistically here. I mean, if I threw a kitchen sink at him, it wouldn't do anything. 
And of course, I feel so stupid. Again, I got his shit mixed up for mine. Why do they both have to be green? It's like, oh, oh it's a green ship, it must be mine, because obviously the loco ship is destroyed, so why would it be his ship again? I don't know. Because <laughs> it is. I, I should remember what a ship looks like in shape, I suppose. I don't know, I don't I don't I don't memorize ship shapes very well. I remember their I remember them more by their color, not their shape, so I don't know. Not to mention this ship doesn't look that much different. I mean I suppose I should realize Okay, there's a harpoon cannon on mine. There isn't on his. There's a weird grabby thing on his. There isn't on mine. So, you know, again, I should realize that. But I don't realize that because I'm very smart when it comes to that. Ten second pause. They're still just sitting there. They probably used too much energy on that last attack. Hmm. Well, that, that's a good thing indeed. I can't wait to attack on this turn and see what we can do with this. Hmm. So wait, if that attacks the next turn, then... Oh. How far... Oh, I see. So I can do that then, eh? I don't know, everyone. I don't know. Is it a good idea or is it not a good idea? Maybe it is. Okay, we can try that. We can try a B-type cannon, even. We'll just try a few things. The Little Jack lost boost already. I didn't lose its boost so far. Fast. I don't. I don't get things. Things are confusing, everyone. Things are so very confusing. I don't even know. All right, whatever. Defense. Do your thing. Yeah, I guess these buffs really are kind of pointless if they're gonna run out so fast. What does this do again? I right, a cannonball charged with blue magic special equipment needed to cast. Oh, I see. Uh, purple magic special equipment needed to cast. Uh, whatever. Okay, that's cool. Anyway, I thought maybe something interesting would happen. I guess not though. So let's see. There's no point in doing anything here, so maybe... Maybe I want to... Focus? I'll focus. Heck with it. We got the power of focusing on our side here. You know, we're ready to, we're ready to take this on here. We want it, after all. If we take it on, we're gonna win. Of course. Because that's the rules. If you do the rules properly, you know what you're gonna do. And you're gonna be able to use a harpoon cannon on this guy, because he sucks. Come on, Deloco. Get, get it together, man. You know you can't just keep running away forever, man. See, look at that damage. It didn't really do that much, actually. That was kind of pathetic damage, in fact. Did my torpedo even hit him? Or did I not fire it yet? No, I don't know. I don't know what I did, actually. Face of action, no! That's horrible! I just wanted to, just wanted to hit him really hard. They won't even let me do that. Or did they? I guess I used the face of action. Never mind, maybe I didn't do anything after all. I thought I did. So I guess my torpedo did hit him then, and it just didn't do any damage, so that was a pretty useless thing then. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind then. The torpedo? Not very good. You would like to think it was pretty good, but it actually really isn't very good. Ah, well. It is what it is. I tried. You can't say I didn't. Or can you? Maybe you said I did try, and maybe I didn't. Or did I not? I'm, what? Seriously, I'm okay. Anyway, whatever. Don't loco. I, I don't like you. Go away. Stop awaiting orders. Why don't you just attack me? If you just attack me, maybe you'd actually beat me. But no, you don't even think about that. They've stopped again! Vice, what should we do this time? Well, I mean, as usual, we'll play it safe and back off, of course. Why would we not? I mean, I'm just saying, though. I mean, I think playing it safe is a good call to make, really, so... I don't know, that's just me. That's just me, personally. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do... We're gonna do the 5-inch cannon. Because why not? Of course. Sheesh. So if I can't knock him off target, that kind of sucks, actually. Well, it is what it is. It's a B-type cannon. I think this one I'll use. Wait, no, stupid. Stupid me. What am I doing? This is what we're going to do. We're going to do We're gonna do an Incrum here. We're going to do our 5-inch cannon there. And then we're going to do the B-type cannon. See, we want to boost ourselves first. We've got to think about things like that, you know. You don't think about things and, whoopsie, I, I didn't mean to do that. Or did I? I want to use the harpoon cannon. Come on, let me use the harpoon cannon already. This takes too long to recharge that harpoon cannon. He's not even facing me. How is he gonna hit me? I, he has to really, really take aim at me here. Cause I, I'm such a moving target right now. I'm behind him. He's got. I'm not to mention I thought he had to sit still too. He's able to apparently aim still, which is interesting. I got maybe. Oh, okay. Maybe he's got a. Oh, I lost it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why? Why would you lose it? Why would you do that? I didn't like that. I wish you didn't do that, and then I could have—I could have hit you with a bunch of damage. Would've been great. What a waste of a turn! 
I still have no idea how I'm losing these attacks. It just seems so... Oh, oh my gosh, I, I lost my attack. What am I going to do now? I don't know. I did nice damage. Well, sort of, I guess. 4,750 is still a pretty good number, if I do say so myself, of course. However... It doesn't beat the power of the Harpoon Cannon, of course. The Harpoon Cannon is life. Or is it? No, seriously, no. I, I mean... It, is Ragnum really going to be that easy? I, I can't imagine Ragnum being that easy. I mean, well, I was thinking, oh, the Harpoon Cannon's going to be so good, they can probably take out Ragnum just fine, of course. So that's what it was meant to do, obviously. Ragnum, no! Ragnum, no! Why is it called Test Cannon? Why is it not called Moonstone Cannon? I mean, that's what it was called. That's what the Loco called it, but yet here it's called Test Cannon. I don't think I, I, don't think I understand that, honestly. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Or does it? I need a heal soon, though. I definitely need a heal. Okay, what have we got here? Hmm. Alright, I know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to... There's still no Harpoon Cannon coming up, though. That's that's too bad, really. So how about this? We'll do one of these. We'll do one of those. We'll do a defense. And he doesn't even have... No, he does have healing magic. Okay, hold on a second. I keep forgetting who to use stuff with sometimes. We'll do it right there. We'll do the five-inch cannon there, and then there we go. Now we can defend ourselves. Drachma, what are you doing? Stop defending yourself. Don't you know how to do things? Of course not. Just do, do your really powerful moves, and that's that's all you got to worry about. Why is it? Why is damage so weird, though? In some turns, it seems like the cannon does about 2,000 damage, and other turns, it's about 3,500 damage. Why? Why is the damage different? I don't understand. I don't understand how that works. It's like, hey, I did different damage now. Ha 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 ha. That one did horrible damage this time. Last time we did 2,000. This time we did 600. I, do, I don't... I really don't... I, I'm just going to say this. I, this is not going to change anytime soon. I do not understand ship combat. Because I thought, okay, you know, I'm, a, I'm doing this during that turn. So it's got to make... You lost it again. You lost it again, man. You lost it again. But seriously, though, it's like, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. I'm like, okay, you can do that, you can do that, great. So that attack's gonna do a lot of damage randomly. That attack's not gonna do a lot of damage next turn. What determines that? I did it during a C. It's not like I did it during a, some other turn. Now, obviously, during that yellow turn, it wouldn't have done very much damage, but still, during the, during the C turn, it should have done a lot of damage, but it did 600. Whereas the last time I did it on a C turn, it did 2,000. I, I, I don't understand that. It's just so weird. I will not understand that. I just won't. I refuse. Well, I mean, it's not like I refuse. I just, I just can't understand it. So I have no say in the matter, huh? I'm gonna get hit by something big no matter what. Alrighty then. Well, if you say so, I, don't know, I, guess, I guess I'm gonna have to use Incrim again because I apparently ran out a second time. Again. I, run, I only run out during ship combat, though. I've never seen myself run out during actual combat, which is really weird. I don't know why that is. Hmm. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? We're gonna go crazy right there. We're, gonna, we're just gonna bomb him on the turn he's meant to meant to hit us. See if that works. Who knows? Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm completely wasting my time with that. In which case, oh well, doesn't matter. I can defend myself too, you know. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for a little bit of defense action here. Incrum, attacking, defense. Your lazy can doesn't stand a chance, Mr. DeLoco. If only you realize the power that awaits you. If only we realized that we probably shouldn't get away from you. Like, I don't know, we're right behind you right now. Zero chance that cannon's gonna hit us. And then, what do we do? We're gonna fly right in front of a ship. And that it's not smart. It's really not smart. Yep, there we are, we're right in front of them. Ready to take a hit. I, I, they're not they're not very smart, everyone. I'm just gonna say that right now. Hey, you missed. Congratulations. Congratulations, the whole, terrible aim right there. Now, how are you gonna hit us with a cannon if we're on the other side of you now? So we're behind you again. Literally, all you have to do is just wait for us to get right in front of you again. It's, it's done. It's easy as easy as pie, of course. Okay. Do you like pie? Of course. I haven't had pie in a while, actually. Now, that kind of reminds me. I, I do like pie, but I haven't had it in a while. I can't even think. Of, when was the last time I had pie? Was it? Hmm. Maybe Christmas? New Year's? I don't even know. Some sometime around the holidays, probably was the last time I had pie. I can't even recall. It's been a long, long time. Maybe my birthday, I don't even know. Did I have pie during my birthday? I had a cake. I don't know if I had pie, though. It's a possibility, who knows. That's gonna do... Not very much damage. I mean, seriously? That's about no different than the flamethrower, really. And that, they, uh, yeah. 
Sorry, sorry, Deloco. I'm afraid you have gone to Loco again. I think, oh, your things are so good, but it's really not because it really doesn't do any more damage than usual, which, you know, it's shameful, man. It's very shameful, in fact. Okay, so we got the, it's time for the kill move here. I, not to mention with Incrim on us, that should really do some insane damage. I mean, I'm ready for this one here. Defense, congratulations. I want to finish him off right now. Should I? Or should I not? I don't know. I'm going to put the torpedo on that turn. Why like not? Let's prepare ourselves for the inevitable death of Deloco. Because he's going to be... Actually, not necessarily. I mean, we didn't... We didn't exactly kill Beliza or anything. I mean, she didn't die. So why would Deloco die randomly? Eh. I don't know. Because random... Maybe random things happen. I don't think the Harpoon Cannon can even miss, because if I'm not mistaken, I believe it has a 999999999 hit. Which is really high, actually. Also, he really survived that. I thought for sure. I thought that would be the one that defeated him, but it didn't. And now he's defeated. Bye-bye, Loco. Crash landing for you! Well, anyway, we beat him. <laughs> Wasn't the ship combat really isn't that hard, honestly. You just gotta be patient with it. I'm not very patient, honestly. But either way, as long as you're patient with it, it's not, not a big deal. It never is. Nice, nice. This cannot be! How can I lose twice? No no no! Is that sound coming from the ship or the... I don't know. No, this has to be a dream! It's all just a bad dream! Yeah, that was that was just coming from the ship. Okay, I see. Sir, get a hold of yourself! We can't face the Gygus in this shape! All ships, back to Valua! Well, I mean, he's not even under... You could easily control him, though. I mean, apparently, according to you anyway. Or not, I don't know. What about the Gygus, though? He's still... He's still out there. All oh, right, the Loco's retreating. It's still too early to celebrate. We still have to stop the Grendel. But he, but he's too big. How can we stop him? See that canyon? No matter how strong that thing is, if it falls into the canyon, it will be stuck. I see. So all we have to do is knock it down. I wait for him to pass in front of it, then hit him in the back. Got it! Alright everyone, let's take him down! Huh. Alright. So we're actually expected to beat him this time, is that true? Alright, sure. Maybe he's so sure he's gonna get stuck in the canyon. It's not necessarily gonna happen. We need to get in close to damage that thing, but there's no telling what that thing will do. Just keep an eye on the damage levels of the ship, boy. We'll try and damage him little by little. Okie dokie then, I guess I'll keep that in mind. Because, on the next exciting episode, we continue more ship combat against Grendel himself. How tough will he be? Hopefully not very tough, but you never know. I suppose Incrim's kind of useless. Anyway, see you later!